All right, <clears throat> so I am recording this video after several weeks after um, the rest of what I'm gonna show you in this video happened, but um, I was kind of getting tired of doing a lot of recordings at the time and I wanted to give a brief um, um, detail on, on um, more detail on what I was doing. So in the beginning of this video, um, I'm in, um, I'm, I'm heading to Canyonlands and Canyonlands is basically, there's two rivers, the Colorado river and the green river. And it's Canyonlands is just the canyons created by these two rivers coming together and they have a confluence. And then, you know, it goes, it's one river after that. The area above where the Colorado river and the green river intersect is called the Island in the sky because you're, uh, the, the rivers carved out this, um, sections on both sides and so it's kind of this triangle in the middle is the island where you can go and, and look down and see the canyons carved down your way high up in the island of the sky so there's actually a second part of canyon lands called the needles district and that is south of the confluence where the rivers come together um it's it's all the uh when the area down there in those canyon lands um it's called the needles district and it's not actually in this video, but um, just to give you an overview, that's what Canyonlands is. So there's also this really, really cool overlook of the Colorado River that's actually at the very edge of Canyonlands, and it's not part of Canyonlands, it's a state park called Dead Horse Point State Park. And that's where I went first in this video um, because it's got one of the coolest views um, I've seen, it's very neat. So after Canyonlands, um, I had a long day and then I went and um, camped again that night, didn't take any more videos. Uh, I stopped at Dead Horse Point one more time for a look and then um, I actually went and uh, met my friend Chris who um, I actually just met earlier this year. Um, he spoke at a um, uh, an event I was at and we connected and um, by Providence. Um, went to lunch and I didn't even know this about him but he loves to do all this stuff out west and he actually gave me a ton of really good advice that i've kind of been uh following on um as i've as i've been planning this trip i told him what i was doing and i told him i was doing utah colorado and he's like man he he, he gave me a lot of stuff that was really helpful in uh planning my trip and and I've done a lot of things so um he actually told me at the time that he was going to be in moab in june and i said well i'm, I'm planning on being in moab a lot later than or earlier than that because i don't want it to be too hot but just because of how things aligned, um, I ended up being in Moab a lot later. So I reached out to him and he just, our schedules aligned perfectly. So, um, we were able to meet up in Moab and, um, and, um, he's a big mountain biker. And he said to me, do you want to, um, mountain bike slick rock? And I'm like, um, I don't, I don't know what that is. He's like, it's like the most famous mountain biking trail in the world. It's like, yeah, I've got to do it. <laughs> I used to bike a lot as a kid and I did some mountain biking, but I haven't owned a bike in years, but I was like, I, I can't turn this down. This sounds awesome. So he's like, yeah, man, ride with me. We'll do it. So I was like, all right, yes. Um, and so I, I rent. And so the, and you'll see in the video the next day after Canyonlands, I go to uh, pick up my mountain bike. I strap it to the roof of my car, which actually was quite difficult. And, um, and then the next day we met at like, six in the morning something like that seven in the morning maybe pretty early at the slick rock mountain bike trail which is an epic mountain bike trail and, and you'll see the videos right at the slick rock trail there's also some of the uh, most famous off-roading trails in the world which i considered doing with my uh, montero but um <laughs> it would probably be better not to push it like that um it'd probably be better if i was going to do it to just rent a jeep or something because the trails are pretty intense they're like very steep and you're just climbing like, you know, 60 degree angles almost up and down rocks, but they're pretty cool. the coolest things I've seen so far. This is Dead Horse Point and uh, State Park. And this is the Colorado River just winding and meandering just uh, 
going, um, just turning all around. It's about 2,000 feet down. This is incredible how much it meanders and winds in these canyons and just looking at the layers of the canyons below. It's just one of the coolest things. overlook of the Green River. Just look how much it meanders. You can see the top of the canyon walls there and then it just swivels all the way back down into here, goes back out all the way around. Very cool. Wow, check out this view. This is right above the Mesa Arch in Canyonlands. Mesa Arch. back there playing under the rocks. This is at the confluence of the Green River to my right over here and the Colorado River, which is the left over here. Both the rivers join together just beyond that large rock. And uh, yeah, they, they both have some awesome carvings into the uh, sandstone in here. And here's more of the Green River on the other side. People down below. This is the Colorado River side over here. And it looks like some uh, hoodoo structure similar to Bryce. One more view of the uh, canyon carved by the Colorado River. It's actually going through that area. It's just so deep that you can't even see it. It's entrenched so deeply. so cool all these different layers of rock exposed from the carving of the river and how um flat each layer is it's very interesting how it forms like very uh evenly like that you can see some of the colorado river exposed in some very small areas in the very center of the screen pops out there with a little green and then over here in the center now, you can see a tiny bit of it. Right now I'm looking at the upheaval dome. It's a circular depression, as you can see, about two miles wide with uh, all these rock layers in the, in the center. I think there's a lot of salt in there and nobody knows how it's for. Back in Dead Horse uh, for a couple last views. I'm guessing they call this place Dead Horse because there's no water anywhere in the state park. They don't have, they have to truck all their water in. So maybe when they were discovering this back in the 1800s or something, in order to get out all get out here the horses died because there was no water and they couldn't this is if they made it to all the way out here they would just die <laughs> just a guess ready go Woo! Rock. all right i'm on the slick rock bike trail with my friend chris and we are about halfway through the top loop looking down the Colorado River. It's one of the most famous mountain bike trails in the world. 
Um, it's got a ton of ups and downs and we just saw this one line the whole way. And it's been very cool, very cool scenery, a lot of fun to ride. Pretty challenging, not recommended for the novice, but um, once you get your technique down, it's not too bad. Go. Sleek rock! Woo! Colorado River. All right, so check it out. The Slick Rock bike trail crosses over some off-roading trails. This is fins and things, and so We've got some off-roaders here. You can see where the trail is black. They're gonna follow that and uh, and go up the hills and stuff. Pretty steep in some areas. It's hard to tell. Let's go. Alright, we're about to get the top now. We're getting ready for the descent, you can see. Uh, All right, so that was Slick Rock. It was an epic trail, very awesome. Sometime, at some points, like the, the trail was like a 45 degree sideways like this. So you're you're literally riding, like you have to lean into the uh, to the side of the canyon because it's just, it's so, uh, you're riding sideways on this, not like down, but like you'd be going like across. So it was pretty tricky and uh, I fell once um crash into sand scraped my legs a little bit but it wasn't the rock so that was good and uh 
by the end, I was just like on some of the downhills, was like, I just got to walk down this hill. I had no energy left. It got really hot and I didn't want to crash in the rocks again. So, um, but it was a very cool trail. Very glad Chris reached out to me and was like, let's do this.